grace of Jesus Christ and in the power of the Spirit, let us together create spacious space, safe enough space, gracious space that also knows the grace of discomfort in a world of the cutting tweet of cocooned communities, of drawing narrow circles. This will be odd space. As odd as a Jerusalem council making room for Gentiles in God's spaciousness towards this odd space, we press on. Over 160 delegates were called to an emerging space looking towards the future of the United Methodist Church at the 2022 North Central Jurisdictional NCJ Conference in Fort Wayne, Indiana. They came together with a sense of unity and they came to elect bishops, hear reports, pass legislation, worship, and engage in times of discernment on matters of importance to the jurisdiction. Following the postponement of NCJ due to COVID, the election of three bishops was foremost on the minds of delegates. Kenetha Bingham Sai of Michigan was elected on the first ballot, a first in NCJ history. In your first ballot, there is an election. That whole service of consecration reminded me of my ordination. Mm -hmm. And the placing on of the stole by Sharon Rader, who was once the pastor at a church that I pastored, to have that yoke of service, that stole, which represents in some ways the heaviness of the call to ministry, but it also uh, um, it represents the weight of the Spirit, and that's how it felt. When uh, Bishop David Bard laid hands on my head, and when all the other bishops came before me and laid hands on my shoulders or said words to me, it felt like such support. It felt like being welcomed into uh, a fellowship of the college. Delegates were thrilled when Lynette Plambeck of Iowa was elected on the same day during the third ballot. In every decade, God has shown up with new opportunities to be in ministry in different ways, to meet and love new people, to serve Christ in a variety of ways. And it isn't necessarily the administrative um, piece that I'm really thinking back on, but it is the way that God has taught me to widen the circle and then to be on the edges of that circle, loving people and just finding um, who we are together in Christ. On the second day, the election of Dan Shireen of Wisconsin in the sixth ballot concluded the Episcopal election. I love the local church. I love the leadership of the laity, the ministry of the baptized. I love the colleagues of clergy that will continue to bear witness to the way that all of the gifts in the body of Christ are necessary. We need each other to make Christ known. We cannot do that alone. I'm gonna need your prayers. I'm gonna need your wisdom. But together, we're going to make Christ known in our steps. Each day was greeted with powerful worship. We are a people of hope. We bring healing and peace to a broken world. We forgive our enemies. We embody unity without uniformity. We beat swords into plowshares. We stop gun violence. We are responsible stewards of God's creation. We rebuild the walls of our cities. We seek racial justice. We feed the hungry and clothe the naked. We ask hard questions of faith without guilt or shame. We love our neighbors around the corner and around the world. We expand the table to include all of God's children. We do no harm, do good, and stay in love with God. We preach Jesus' saving grace. We prophesy to the dry bones. That is who we are. reminding them and us that the gift of faith, the gift of grace, and the gift of reconciliation are God's gifts to us. And it's out of God's conditional love for all of us, not because of who we are, not because of anything that we have done, not because we're so talented and gifted or because we're so smart and pedigreed and sophisticated, no but it's because of who God is. The gift of the glory of God, God's grace and endless mercy is that which empowers us
to remain faithful and hopeful even when we suffer trials and tribulations, even when we find ourselves disappointed, even when we find ourselves growing weary and tired of trying to do good. Somebody here know what I'm talking about. And the gospel is real. And we stand for the gospel because the gospel is good news. We stand with love over hatred. We stand with faith over fear. We stand with mission over misinformation. Or we stand up against racism and rejection and exclusion. Or we stand. The jurisdiction celebrated the ministry of Bishop Sally Dick and Bruce O, who both retired in 2020, and for Lori Haller, who retires in the end of 2022. The conference also tackled challenging topics, including Christian nationalism, racism, the gun violence crisis, and the impact of homophobia, transphobia, and heterosexism within the United Methodist Church. Today, as we create space for dialogue with one another, we must create magnanimous space with one another, which is why it is right to begin our dialogue this afternoon by first remembering our baptism. By contextualizing this conversation first in our baptism, it is our hope that the unity of the spirit that flows from this fount will remind us of the singular covenant that each of us has with God. The consecration of the newly elected bishops closed the conference with a service and communion. This is the most exhilarating ride to be a bishop in the United Methodist Church. We are first and foremost a child of God because, you know, all those other certificates and, and uh, ordinations and consecrations, there are times when all they do is pad our ego and self-esteem. And there are times when we get stripped of all of that. And the sooner we remember who we are as a child of God, the better it'll be. Being a bishop is a tool, a very important tool to build up the body of Christ, but it dare not be your identity. You know, one of the greatest things about being a bishop is that you do have the power to call people together to help the mission of our church to make disciples of Jesus Christ. You were not elected to save the church. But what did Jesus do? He taught people to live and to love and to forgive and to share what had happened to them, how they had been healed, how they had been in, in transformed through the power of God through him. And he built up his people. The jurisdictional conference concluded with the assignment of bishops. To the Dakotas, Minnesota Conference, Bishop Lynette Plambeck. To the East Ohio Conference, Bishop Tracy Smith Malone. To the Illinois Great Rivers Conference, Bishop Frank Beard. To the Indiana Conference, Bishop Julius Trimble. To the Iowa Conference, Bishop Kenitha Bigham Thigh. To the Michigan Conference, Bishop David Bard. To the Northern Illinois Conference, Bishop Dan Schwerin. To the West Ohio Conference, Bishop Gregory Von Palmer. And to the Wisconsin Conference, Bishop He Su Jung. The North Central Jurisdiction will meet once again in 2024 in the Dakotas, following the General Conference, which will be held April 23rd through May 4th, 2024 in Charlotte, North Carolina.